Right, um, thank you all very much for coming this morning. Um, I'm here today to uh, announce first uh, the candidate for Cook, Peter Kelly. Um, as you know, this area is the uh, Prime Minister's seat and uh, there's been all sorts of problems here with um, uh, the Muslim immigrants who have come in here and uh, attack people here, right here where we're standing now. So uh, I'm, we're running a candidate here and uh, uh, a good uh, calibre candidate. We had over 300 people put their hand up to uh, run for our party and, uh, and we've been impressed with the, the type of people who have put their hand up. Uh, people like uh, Peter Kelly here, you know, who's uh, served his country and uh, is a great guy. And uh, I think we'll do you know, pretty well in this seat. Um, the indiscriminate immigration policy that the government has is really no policy at all. It's made uh, pretty much open borders. Uh, more and more of these uh, attacks are coming. Uh, we're seeing attacks all over the world, but we're having the same problem here in Australia, particularly Sudanese gangs who are attacking people on a daily basis. So we need people to stand up and, uh, and do something about it. And we need a government that will start to understand that by bringing more and more of these people in here, all we're going to have is more and more problems. So uh, uh, I stand uh, solidly against bringing any more Muslims or Sudanese into the country. Uh, I'd also like to uh, introduce uh, part of the Senate team for uh, New South Wales, uh, Caroline Thompson and Paul Swan and Ian Wharton. Uh, we also have another one, but he lives way up north, northern part of New South Wales, so he didn't get down here today. Uh, we're running a Senate team in every state, and lower house uh, seats also we're running people in. Uh, in Queensland, every lower house uh, seat we have a, a candidate for. So uh, of the 300, we have 10 working days to try and put these teams together. And uh, it's very hard to get to talk to 300 people and, uh, and sort of do research on them and, uh, and get them into their seats. But we have uh, put six or seven in lower house seats here in New South Wales, the same in Victoria, we have in Tasmania and all the other states, we have lower house seats covered as well. Had we had more time, we would have had more uh, seats covered. So it's a great response. We only had the party registered a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we had 500 members within 10 hours, 1,000 members within 30 hours. So, uh, you know, there is quite a lot of support. Uh, I'm speaking for the people that I, I believe that I'm speaking for, who are the, the silent majority, hopefully majority. Uh, and, uh, you know, they need, they need a voice just like everyone else needs a voice. Uh, I know that doesn't sit very well with the left-wing media, but uh, that's the way it is. You know, those people need a voice as well. So, uh, I, I, as I said, I'm very, very proud of the type of people who have put their hand up and who are now our candidates. Uh, so, um, if you'd like, I'll take a couple of questions and uh, that'll be fine. Anyway. Senator, did your ancestors come to this country on a boat as migrants? Yes, they did, Eliza, they did, yeah. Okay, and like a lot of people in those days, they didn't have any aircraft. That was way back in the early 1700s, okay. 1800s. So if they are classified as migrants, what makes them in any way different to people from any other nation or any other religion in terms of their rights to live and rights I'll tell you Australia? exactly how it makes a difference is they came in here to build a country, they worked hard, they built a beautiful nation. The people who are now coming in aren't working hard. A lot of the refugees, the fake refugees, are going straight on the dole. And they don't South the Western Sydney recently, Senator? Have you been to South Western Sydney, Senator? Yes, I've been all over Sydney. And what did you find there? Uh, in what way? Uh, businesses run by migrants, just like you and your ancestors? Yeah, like you're talking about the people who are coming down here and bashing people, or different ones? I, well, Senator, you did speak about um, some migrants, Sudanese migrants in particular, in the context of court. Can you give us any evidence to, to back up your claim that Sudanese gangs are causing a problem here in court? No, I wasn't talking about the Sudanese gangs here in court. I was talking about the Sudanese gangs in Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney. Uh, we even have them in uh, Brisbane now attacking people on a daily basis. We've had uh, 13 attacks in the last two months in Brisbane. Uh, I mean, Sudanese you're here gangs. in Sydney, obviously. Uh, I'm not aware of there being a... Oh, there's no Sudanese gang problem here in Sydney. There is. Well, there is. There is a big. Apparently, there is. So there you go. Okay, so can you, can you just provide where the that comes from, Senator? Sorry, go ahead. Can you provide some evidence to, to back that up? Though? Well, I don't need to, do I? I mean, the news when you when you don't report it, 
Uh, go and have a look at the police uh, reports. I have police reports, yeah, and I can give you those if you'd like. Okay, Senator, I've been a local crime reports reporter in this area for more than seven months now. Congratulations. I'm in there every single time. There's a list day, and I haven't seen a single person who is either Muslim or Sudanese charged with a hate crime of any kind. So where is the evidence for the claim that you're making? As I say, just look at the police reports. They're I, there. I did. I'm well, asking you where your evidence is anyway, I'm, not, I'm not here to argue with you about that. The people who have been bashed and the people who have been attacked, they can give, give you the those Vanilla rights were one of the most devastating things that ever happened in this community. It brought financial ruin to the local economy and it was culturally devastating for people who lived here and wanted to welcome people. Is this Even a question or a statement? Exactly if you've got no, a question, question, ask the question. Do you think that Sorry, people are actually anyone? going to be in favour of your candidate? When I'm they sorry, were the you ones live in a world of make believe. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you live I'm in a room equally. I don't, you think, I don't know if you, know, you are addressing it. Sorry, I'm asking you to vote. Well, I mean, it does go to what Eliza is saying, but like, do you think it is um, potentially risky to be coming to what is quite an inflammatory place, obviously, given the history, um, when you're trying to get a, a member yeah, of the this is, this is Australia, and I'm an Australian. And if I'm scared to come here, uh, what's the point of being in Australia? Why are you scared to come here? It's a playground full of children. None of us should. I had a young lady over here who. When she comes here, she was called Skippy Slut, an Australian slut by some of these guys. The people who were in this, this last riot that was down here a few years ago, attacking our surf lifesavers, the most iconic volunteers in Australia, getting belted up by bloody grubs. So this is not Australia the way we used to know it. And the last thing I think Australians need is areas cordoned off in our city that are no-go zones, like they have in Great Britain and in France and in Germany. And if we keep going down the same road, we're going to do exactly the same thing. This is exactly what's going to happen here. We'll become a minority in our own country, and I don't think most Australians want to become a minority here in their own country. Okay, Senator, I'd like to ask the candidate a question, if uh, I might. Sorry, would you have a question? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Fraser. Thank you. 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 Uh, it's, it's a point, it's a fact that our Prime Minister is quite happy to keep on bringing in indiscriminate Im immigration policy that brings in people that do not fit in with our society. And uh, that's why Peter's uh, good enough to put his hand up here and, uh, and run in this seat. And I think that the people who have been affected by those people need a voice in their, in their seat. And they, you know, it's up to the Australian people whether they believe uh, that we're saying the right thing or the wrong thing. And they'll tell us that at the ballot box. Can we ask the question you Who cares? You know, it's, it's, it's Australia. We're Australian. So why shouldn't we be here? What what is is I was well, her parents came from Australia in the second, at the end of the Second World War. Mm -hmm. I call her an Australian. My, my wife is a Muslim, okay? My wife is a Muslim. Yeah. My father-in-law lived in a communist country called Albania. Yeah. At age six, this man was persecuted, oh, okay? And trust me, they are pro Australian and they support him. There's many people that support him. Why? Because it's outright Marxism here. To be honest, you guys it should wake up, you know? We're being attacked. We're, we're Marxism. You know, there we are. It's kind of discussion. Good on you, Dan. One question, yes. Gemma from SBS News. I wanted to ask you about the other couple of other candidates that you've got, in particular the candidate for the Victorian electorate of Bendigo, Julie Hobson. Now she's been ruled ineligible to serve in Parliament. Is she going to continue to be a candidate for you, or do you think she'll be replaced with someone else? Uh, I'd like to see her say as a candidate. She's a very good uh, candidate. Uh, she was illegally bankrupted. She declared that on the form uh, when she put it into the AEC. The AEC accepted that. Uh, if the AEC then changes its mind, that's entirely up to the AEC. Uh, AEC. But she's a good girl. She she works hard, and um, she got illegally bankrupted. But she's disputing it, and she thinks that it'll be overruled. Another so any other hopefully, concerns that any of your other candidates will face similar problems? Possibly. You know, in, in every election, you're going to get somebody who's got something in the closet. You can't. Uh, we had 10 days to try and vet everyone. Uh, there could be other problems, but you know, I think most of them are decent people. We might find that there's an axe murderer, we don't know. So, well, we, we, should, we, should hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. we did, we did all the research we could in 10 days, uh, but you know, there's always going to be, I know that the press will go through all their history and maybe find some problem that we don't know about, but uh, hopefully not too many. But thank you very much, I appreciate your time, thank you very much. Where'd you go? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.